My name is Matthew Gregono and we're at Old Town Glassworks in Yellowknife, Old Town. So uh, Yellowknife uh, right now it's about minus 28 to 30 below. As far as the next biggest city, um, Edmonton is about 1,500 kilometers or if you're driving good and fast about 17, 18, 19 hours away. Yellowknife has a sort of a smaller community type of mentality. Um, when it comes to waste management, a lot of stuff goes in the landfill, which is what helped to inspire the creation of Old Town Glassworks, where we try to take material out of the waste stream and put it back in the economy. Huge diversity in what you will find in a bottle in Yellowknife, and that the color, size, shape, quality ranges immensely. In the showroom here, we have a whole range of, from uh, vases, glasses, candle holders, wine glasses, beer tankards, guitar slides, lampshades. So there's a whole range of stuff we can sandblast. It all mainly features using northern images of the forest or the animals or the aurora or a combination of all the above. The hammer that we use is something that I developed. It's actually a piece of fencing wire and an old ball bearing that came out of my Honda Civic uh, CV joints, and I welded the two together. So now we've got the top taken off and we've got a razor sharp surface. So what we need to do is we take it over to our grinder. The grinder is made out of a 1955 Hoover washing machine that's had the agitator removed and a diamond disc installed. And then we put it in the vertical lathe and turn it and then we use diamond sandpaper to sand the, the square surface into a rounded surface and then finer grades of paper to bring it up to a smooth finish. So no one's going to hurt themselves using it, definitely it would not be good. So after we've done the grinding and the polishing, it's next to put on the glassware and then we take it over to the sandblaster. It very rapidly cuts away the glass. There's this spray is a sandy grit that hits the glass and cuts it away. And that the longer you stay in one spot, the deeper it cuts. You can go from a, a just a light surface etch to a sand carving where there's a real tactile sense to it.